Hello there everyone, this is me Ethan here and welcome back to another top 10 LEGO video. And in today's video I'll be counting down my top 10 most wanted LEGO sets of Spring 2021. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Taking the bottom spot on this list is the LEGO Spider-Man Attack on the Spider Layer. Now I know many of you may not actually like this set, but I really do. To get a playset from Marvel and at that Spider-Man is just so great to me. I especially love LEGO playsets and whatever it's from Marvel and especially Spider-Man and I really appreciate it because we just get so many vehicles. This set is just a super fun playset and that's the reason I like it as well as the very awesome minifigures. But I just don't see myself realistically picking this set up anytime soon especially at retail price. Taking the number 9 spot, we have the LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this ship in Star Wars, I really do love the design of it, it's one of my favorites. But this ship is in a similar style to the X-Wing and TIE Fighter from earlier this year in January where it's a scaled down and cheaper version. And this one honestly feels like a huge downgrade compared to the X-Wing and TIE Fighter which I thought were honestly pretty good, you can have your own opinions about that, but man this one feels like a huge downgrade. The UCS one from 2010 and and the minifig scale one from 2015 are leagues, leagues better. And yes, the previous X-Wings and TIE Fighters were better than the 2021 versions, but the 2021 version still felt passable to me, hence why I have both of the sets. But this one, I doubt I will pick up, even though it's one of my favorite ship designs in Star Wars, and it just hurts me not to get this set. I want to like this set, but maybe once it goes down in price and it's at least 20 or 30% off and I have the money for it, maybe I'll get it. Also, the minifigure selection is lackluster which I forgot to mention so yeah. At number 8 we have the LEGO Creator Space Mining Mech. And this set I honestly don't have much to say about, I just think it's a genuinely really cool LEGO mech for $30 and it's honestly better than a lot of the licensed themed mechs that we get nowadays and I also just really like space sets in general even though I don't have many. I, I just think it's interesting, I think it's pretty cool, it's got a little blade for a hand and it just looks like a fun set. Now we are starting to get to the sets that I could actually see myself realistically buying at the store. So here we are at number 7, I'm shocked to say that it is a Monkey Kids set. We have the Monkey Kids Cloud Bike. With 203 pieces at $25, this set should honestly be $5 less, but I really like it. It is currently the cheapest Monkey Kids set now on the market, other than the accessory pack, which I'm honestly not a big fan of. And I really appreciate that LEGO is trying to get a little bit cheaper with Monkey Kid because it's just such an expensive theme but I do really like the theme, it's just too dang expensive. So to have a $25 set that's actually decent in my opinion is pretty awesome. I normally don't like the Ninjago $20 bike sets that come with two bikes, but this one is actually pretty interesting. Monkey Kid's Cloud Bike looks really cool in my opinion and I really like the color scheme. It seems so wacky and weird and I normally don't like these Lego bikes, but for some reason I just really like these two. And the purple and green one also has an interesting color scheme and the villain minifigure just looks really cool. And also I could finally get the pigtail piece in black, which I don't have in my collection. So overall, I think this set would be a great introduction to the Monkey Kid theme for me. Taking the number 6 spot, we have yet again another LEGO bike set that I weirdly like for some reason. This is Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. And for $20, I honestly just want this set for the minifigs. I really like the Lloyd and Nia minifigure as well as the uh, Keeper minifigure. I think that's their name, like the Keeper Guard or something. He looks really cool with the purple and Nia and Lloyd suits just look really cool but also the bike set just feels just a little bit more unique than the normal Ninjago bike that I dislike so much. I'm just so dumbfounded at this point that I actually enjoy these Lego bike sets now but hey I guess they're improving. Taking the number 5 spot on this list we have the Lego Star Wars AT-AT vs Tauntaun Microfighters. And if you know me even in the slightest you know I am a sucker for anything from the original trilogy especially whenever it comes to Lego sets and this one is no exception. I really enjoy the Micro fighters, but to be honest, I haven't gotten any of the animal micro fighters and the Tauntaun one just looks really adorable. And same with the AT-AT, they're just very cute miniature models. It makes no sense scale-wise that the AT-AT is the same size as the Tauntaun, but whatever, it's still a cool and fun set and that's all that I really care about. And also the minifigures are pretty nice. The AT-AT driver is honestly nothing special, but I don't have one in my collection so that's cool and the updated Hoth Luke Skywalker looks amazing. At number 4, I am honestly surprised surprised to say that LEGO Video has made it this high up on the list. I'm honestly not that interested at all in this theme, it just looks really boring.
boring to me. Aside from the Bandmates Series 1 collectible minifigure series, maybe, I don't know. It's basically a CMF series, but it doesn't have the same set and number as the rest of the CMFs, so maybe it's just a separate thing. And I know these specific sets have stirred up some controversy in the LEGO community because they come in boxes, so that means you can't feel the minifigures, which really stinks. But I recently seen on Instagram that there is actually a certain order that the minifigures appear in the box from, you know, front to back. So there is a way that you can find the minifigures that you want pretty easily. And the minifigures that I want the most out of this series are only two of them, and I actually really do like them. It is the Shark Singer and the Ice Cream Saxophonist. The rest of them honestly don't seem that interesting to me, and I just really love those two minifigures specifically. Taking the number three spot, we have yet again another Lego Ninjago set based off of the Island Special. This is the Jungle Dragon. And this is one of my favorite sets from the Wave. Not my top favorite, but definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love the blue color. I forget what it's called. It's like this bluish teal color, but I absolutely love it on the Ninjago Dragon, and it just looks so cool. The only thing I don't really like about this set, though, is that the wings don't really feel like wings, and it almost looks a little bit more like a lizard to me, but I kind of like that. It just looks super Super goofy how the tongue is sticking out and I like goofy and fun weird Lego sets aside from Trolls World Tour but you get the point I like weird Lego sets aside from Trolls and the minifigures are also pretty cool you get Lloyd in a cheaper set but that's really whatever but you also get two other keepers which is pretty nice as well as that awesome Zane at number two is a Lego set that probably wouldn't have been on the list at all around a week or two ago but recently I've gotten into Lego Disney taking the number two spot is technically two sets these are the Lego brick sketches from Mickey and Friends, and this is Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Since I've recently gotten back into Disney, I like these sets a lot more than I did a couple weeks back ago. And whenever these sets first leaked, I was actually somewhat interested in them, but they looked creepy at first to me. I think it's the fact that they don't have any pupils, but now that I've seen official images close up, they honestly don't look as bad. And it looks like they come with some really cool pieces, and I just love the way they're built. These might be my favorite brick sketches now. And at number one, we have the Lego Ninjago The Keeper's Village. And if you've watched any of my previous videos covering these Ninjago sets, you know that this one is my favorite. I love summery themed Lego sets. Summer is my favorite season of the year. So getting summer themed Lego sets is just the icing on top for all the fun that you get during summertime. And I just really love the island feel and the like um, tiki things on the top and all the minifigures are great and I, I, I just can't get enough of this set. This is definitely one of my favorite Ninjago sets and I, I just don't know how to explain it. It's just super summery and and I just really, really like the way it looks. Oh yeah, and I also just really enjoy play sets as well. I've mentioned that a couple times, so maybe it's that too. So there you guys have it. There are my top 10 most wanted Lego sets of spring 2021 coming out on March 1st. I always love talking about these new sets that are releasing and it's always so much fun to make videos on them. So I'm interested to see what sets you guys want most down in the comment section below. We're getting an entire new Lego theme and an entire huge wave of Monkey Kid. Like there's so much stuff coming out March 1st compared to last March and it's just very, very exciting stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this top 10 list and if you guys did enjoy this video, Video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye and have a great day.